Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I am going to give you a step-by-step -step on how I bleach and tone my hair at home. I will leave all the products that I use down below. So right now I have my Foxy Locks extensions in because I just absolutely love them. But all the clips you're going to see of me putting everything in my hair was just a couple days ago. Without me rambling, let's get right into the video and I'll show you how to bleach and tone your hair from home. So I'm going to start, uh, I wanted to show you the products that I'm going to use first because this is my personal favorite combo. This is just the Clairol Born Blonde, but make sure it's this one. If you're going to do like this exact same thing, I don't trust any other bleaching kit from like the drugstore or from anywhere besides this one. You can see here on the sides what is, you know, how it lightens up. Now on my root color, it does not show up like that white. It comes out it's bleached, but it has, you'll see, it has more of like a orangey look to it. So because I don't want it to be orange, I want it to be more of like a, tr a white, um, not silver, but white. I use the Wella T18, which you will need to get a 20 volume to go with this. So before you start mixing anything up, obviously I'm gonna take you step by step. We're not gonna need this for a little while. Before you start to mix the bleach, you're gonna want to separate your hair into, how many sections did I do? One, I did five sections. So I have two of these side sections. I have a section in the back, and then I have two of the top sections. So I start from the back sides to the top, and today I'm not pulling it through my entire head. I'm just doing my roots. I am gonna pull it through on the top slightly. Um, if you saw in my last video, I like the top of it is just a lot warmer. So some of these top top pieces I'm gonna pull it all the way through but you um, once you are at a pretty good base color you're not gonna want to pull bleach through your hair every single time you bleach it your hair is just gonna crack off <laughs> So now I'm just going to look crazy and I'm just going to check over everything to really make sure everything's saturated, massage it into your head a little bit so that you have no, um, no like spots that you missed. I got it very, um, very meticulous. I am going to put a little bit on this underneath part that I feel like is a little warmer and then I will be back in about, I honestly, this says to leave it for 20 minutes. I leave it on close to an hour. So I will be back and I will show you how it is looking when I have let it all process through. Um, obviously after that, I'll get into the shower. But I'm gonna get some of these under pieces that are just like a little too warm, a little too dark. And I will be back. All right, so here's how we're looking. I don't know if you can see. It has been about 45, 50 minutes. I just can't believe my face is like this right now. I'm gonna get in the shower, wash it all out. So now you look mortifying and your hair is orange. And that is why the T18 is a must. So now I'm gonna go um, mix the T18. So I'm gonna take the entire bottle of what's in here. I'm gonna pour it into a bowl and then I'm gonna fill up that bottle with 20 volume twice because it's one parts of the T18 and two parts 20 volume. Right, so we're gonna mix this up. It is gonna be a little soupy. Um, you do apply this to wet hair, so that's why I just apply it immediately after I um, wash the bleach out of my hair. It is a little soupy, like I said, so 
This can get messy. It is going to turn bright purple. Don't be afraid. And the longest that you leave this on for is 30 minutes. So depending on how I'm doing over here, um, I'm obviously gonna check in with you guys, but this is how you mix it all up. Get one of these from Sally's Beauty Supply. You're gonna um, part your hair just like you did for the uh, for when you're bleaching it, except that you're putting this all over your hair. I'm not just putting this on my roots, I'm putting this on my entire head. Hey guys. <laughs> so I told you it's messy, look at my bathrobe. I mean, I've had this thing for like 10 years, but my head is literally dark purple. Don't be scared, it all comes out. Um, your hair will not be purple. I think if anything, if you were to leave it on too long, it would be like a really, like a silver lavender color, um, but it would fade because this does fade. So I look absolutely mortifying and I need to stop looking at myself. So in about five minutes, I'm gonna get in the shower. I've left it on for, it's gonna be 30 minutes. The back I've left on for longer than 30 minutes, but I really want this top half to have been on for 30 minutes. So I start timing it once it's on, it's finished on the top. Someone's texting me. So I'm gonna go wash it out and then we'll be finished. All right guys, that's it from me today. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't already. Give this video a like if you enjoyed it. And I will see you next time. Bye.